So, okay. I'm going to end up having to edit all this together. Um, so, we'll uh, be finishing this up soon. Like I said, this is a practice run on making this. Like, I know I didn't make this eye perfect. This is just a practice one. And, excuse me, my water. Um, that I'm eating a, uh, chicken Caesar salad from Wawa. Never a sponsor, but always had here in the house or wherever I am. Even their coffee. <laughs> always got to have their coffee. Got to have a Wawa. Hey, Wawa, does that give you a hint? <laughs> Besides, it's a tribal name. Just like Tillamook. That's an Oregon, by the way. Um, and it's a tribe. Just like Umqua. Umqua is a tribe. And it's also the brand of an ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it's a brand of an ice cream. Although, shh, I like Tillamook better. Because <laughs> I like their cheese better, too. <laughs> Which, by the way, you can find that Tillamook cheese at Trader Joe's. At the local Trader Joe's near you. And it's at a very reasonable price the heck is on my face? There's something on my face. Like, right there. Sometimes I find, like, these mystery bumps or mystery bruises on me. I don't know where this came from. It wasn't there earlier. Anyway. It's there now. Whatever. Um. It's Freaky Friday. <laughs> not see that there earlier and now I see it there I didn't have anything to break my face out so my face should not be broken I'm not going to pick on that mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope nope on a rope nope nope on a rope you guys know that's one of my new catchphrases nope on a rope I don't know. I just have some new catchphrases to say. Nope on a rope is one of them. <sighs> okay. So we got that there to add into the stuffing for the head. So that we can get started on the other eye. Eye, eye, Captain. 20 minutes later. <laughs> no, I don't watch Spongebob. My friend's daughter does. She watches Spongebob and Loud House. So it's like, you understand that there are only two cartoons that's ever watched in this house. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> and then you hear right after that, in the loud house, in the loud house. <laughs> yep, that is only two cartoon songs you 
ever hear in this house. Right after that, you are not hearing no other cartoon songs because that is repetitive. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so it's like doing the other eye. I just wish that this program, this program that I'm doing these on, had a um, pause. And it doesn't, doesn't, and I'm really super surprised that it doesn't. Like, you would think it would. I really would think that it would when it doesn't and it, it's weird it is it's weird I use the same program as Velvet Solis and now you would think you would think that it would have pause I have yet to find where it will let you pause. <laughs> it won't let you pause. It has a part there where it will let you stop what you're doing, but it won't let you pause. But it will let you edit video together, but it won't let you pause. I, I think that's a bit weird. But oh well. Guess video's done though. Okay, so we're about done putting the face together. So that's a good thing. Doing the face can be a little bit tricky. Can it can be a little tricky. Sometimes it can turn out good, sometimes it can turn out funky, like a funky monkey. Um, trust me, I have had those funky monkey crochet moments. I really have. And some of them were like the happy accident. Oh, and don't worry, we will get back into artwork eventually. I mean, crocheting and knit is an art. Don't get me wrong, that this is an art. Sewing, knit, crochet, it is an art all by itself. Let's see how the eyeball turned out. It's like the poor bunny got stabbed in the face. <laughs> Repetitively. Stabbed in the face on the playground. <laughs> poor thing. But we'll fix its eye. Yeah. That's why I said this is just a practice. cute though for being strange maybe it's kind of a goth bunny who knows maybe it's just a little goth bunny goth bunnies are kind of cute all right I'll admit it I used to have my full on goth outfit all right, you know those pants with the flare leg and the chains on it and all those pockets? Okay, I used to have those pants. Yep. 
Yes, I did. I used to have those pants. Indeed, I did. It's not that bad. I, I got to fix this eye. But it's not that bad. Maybe this, yeah, maybe this is our little goth bunny. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I just don't. Kind of cute though. Maybe it just needed to facet down that one side of its eye. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I needed to facet down that one side of the eye and then come back on it. And then we'll come back on that side and then facet down a little bit more. Okay, a lot of people are not used to using the word facet. It's an old-fashioned terminology for holding down your item. Keeping it in place. It's called facetting. And that's how you do it. You basically, and now we can just come back through right where I have my finger here. And since I know where my finger is, I can just go through here, bring that through there, back through the middle, put that there right here and we can tie it off again we can tie that off again and my thing with this bunny is do I want it to have floppy ears or do I want it to have ears that stand straight up now I have never made a floppy eared bunny which I think those are adorable I absolutely think those are adorable bunnies and I really don't think that the floppy eared bunnies get enough attention and I think they're just so cute. Okay, let's take that small ball of yarn, push it in here, and see the shape that we get with this. Let's see the shape we get now. And that'll tell us more how these eyes are gonna sit with this. All right, it's kind of ugly cute. That's why I was saying maybe we got kind of gothic bunny going on here. Kind of ugly cute. That's why you got to practice. And I know with the bear that I did for uh, Doug Paulson's son, Doug Jr., um, it turned out better than this because I was able to concentrate on the eyes better because it was bigger than this and now the other bunny that I'm actually gonna do is bigger than this this is just a practice and it's smaller than the other bunny that I'm going to do I, I don't know I think it's kind of ugly cute <laughs> it's so ugly it's cute and one of those things is just so ugly it's cute in its own way like look it's got the shape right here it almost looks like it has a mouth even though it doesn't so it kind of gave it its own shape I don't know how I do this stuff but I do it um just don't know how just don't know how I do it it just gets done okay so the next thing you actually want to do is make the back of that head. Oh 
my gosh, you want to make the back of that head. And how do you want to do that? Oh, how do we do this? How do you do this? We might ask me. Um, <laughs> we might ask me. And or other people that know how to do this stuff. <laughs> I just want to make your Friday funny or, or your weekend. However, you may want to figure this out. <laughs> oh, I know I have British people, Scottish people, and people from Ireland that watch my channel. But I don't want to offend you with the accent. I just want to, like, make everybody laugh, okay? Don't be offended. I'm just trying to make people laugh. <sighs> Okay, so there's that. And yes, I do double twist mine. And then, now don't do that too tight. You want to have that a little loose. And then three. Now you could go four, but I'm not going to go four. And don't worry about the tail hanging there at all. Because what we're going to do is... Go right over here. Okay. Right over here. Now hold that tail piece down there. Hold that tail piece down there. And then pull that. And then you're going to have that right there. And you're going to loop that over. And this is what I've done. Okay. One. Loop it. Two, and take the third one all the way through. You know why? Because again, what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to one and two and take the third one through. It's almost a little granny square thing. It's like a little granny square. And then what you do is that was, you had one there already. That's your second one. Two, which is your third. This is your third. So you had one, two, three, right? Okay, now what you're going to do is turn this, turn it. You're like, you're going to make this difficult for us, aren't you? No, absolutely not. Move that tail out of the way. And I want you to take it through here. One. Two. And three. Take it through there again. One, two, and three. Turn it. You, you guys can do this. I know you can. Take it. One, two, don't let it go through this yet. You go through that one on the third one. Three. Okay. Back down through there. And then one, two. You got to be careful because sometimes that gets a little like, even I get impatient sometimes. Two. And the third one. And what you're going to do, like, you see how that's assortedly square right there, but it's round. Now, this is how I made the front of this. Now, we're going to do that until it comes around to making the back. Two and three. Turn. You want to make sure that you're actually able to get through one of those. One, two, 
three. Now this looks like it's going to come in on us, but what I'll show you how we straighten that out in a moment. And three. One, two, three. Now, this is going to start looking like one of those little Jewish caps in a minute. But that's okay because we're actually going to make the back of the head match up perfect to the front. And am I going to keep this little ball of yarn in there? Well, I would have to undo it to keep it in there or just keep it in there like that. Um... So it, it would depend on how I want to do that because I actually need to like stitch it down on the sides, uh, which there are different ways to do that. And I don't use the a needle technique to do that. I do it the old school way. I like doing it the old school way better. Um, so now what we're going to do is keep one back instead of stretching forward. And that's actually how you're going to keep this from cinching and squishing the point outward. You guys will you guys will get that in a moment. Trust me, it's better to have this part like flatten like that rather than how people would normally do it and then it kind of gets a little messy and then you'd be like darn it why didn't I follow the instruction now the first time I learned how to do this she did it with like three instead of two and to me, that really didn't make a lot of sense. Three. Take that. One. Two. And then three. Now, like I said, you know, when you have that, make sure that you count two and then take it through on the third one. It makes it so, so much easier. One, two, and three. Take it back through where you just had it. One, two, three. Turn it. Sometimes these can get a bit tight, but that's okay. It's better to have a tight stitching than have everything too loose. Okay, finally hooked through. One, two, three. Pull it through. One, two, and three. And then, like I said, you turn. And then once this whole entire thing is done, then we'll put it on the back. And look, that's actually almost matching up to the back of this. So when I'm done with the head, and then I'll actually come back and show you guys, like, my practice bunny. Um, I have to take a little break and stretch a little because my leg is hurting me. The weather's playing some funky game. Um, and so I just wanted to show you guys this, show you guys how to do a little bit of the crocheting, which I really hope that got, that, uh, and it's Brain Fart Friday as well. <laughs> we could laugh about a few things here, can't we? Um, and as you notice, that went really quick. 
And it also shows you how you can make a granny square, which if you really and truly want to learn how to make granny squares, leave that in the comments. I'll teach you how to make granny squares. And um, Pink Butterfly knows how to make granny squares as well. Um, so check her, her channel out for that. Oh my gosh, there's like an abundance of things she knows how to make. Um, seriously, there's a, an abundance of things she knows how to make. Like, well, we both know how to make baby sweaters. I also know how to make the baby hat. I believe she does too. The baby booties, the baby mittens. We both know how to make those. Um, doll clothes. We both know how to knit and crochet those. Obviously, we both know how to make stuffed animals, which I just recently learned. But that was out of curiosity. And curiosity did not kill the cat. But... <laughs> Uh, and this is going to be a funny looking bunny. Uh, and then, like I said, you know, I have the other yarn to work with. Um, and then I found out that, that pink yarn that I made, that arm knit scarf, the rest of it actually wasn't completely together. Oh my gosh. No wonder it was on sale. <laughs> like what no wonder it was on sale um so uh yeah like i showed you this showed you this and for it being kind of ugly cute it's kind of ugly cute um as a practice piece um but the actual one i won't be messing up on the eyes i'll, I'll guarantee you that and i'll be using white for the eyes instead of this kind of, uh, I don't know what, what color you would call that. I guess it's kind of a mauve -y. No, it's not even a mauve. Mauve is kind of dark. Um, it's kind of a lavender tone. Yeah. So I use kind of a lavender tone for the nose and the eyes for this. That's kind of a cute, ugly funny looking thing but like I said you know the shape the shape you definitely when you start the face you definitely want to go for shape um I don't know how I even get the shapes that they, they're just there when I make them um but when you if you want to puff out the cheeks you extra stuff that you do you extra stuff it um i just didn't do that on this i just shoved the ball of yarn in there and it helped to get the the shape uh so anyway guys this has been almost 30 minutes and now i'm rambling and um uh, i could have been showing you guys more of this which is you know just now my crochet hook came out of there and I almost said knitting needle that would have been nitty of me um <laughs> uh yeah that would have been very nitty of me uh like I said you just hit one two and if you make that little error t just pop it back and like I said go like that one two three la 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 one two three and I've already made this video too long to be able to put on Instagram so it'll only be able to go to YouTube so um I'll just have to make a different one to go on Instagram um so, uh, like I said, you know, pretty much 
this is like, I don't know, almost all of it. All, almost, really. Almost all of it to go on the back of that. Is that the single or is that the double? Oh, that's the double. And then... Doesn't seem like there's too much space because there's too much space, so let me fill that in. One, okay, yeah, three, one, two, three, and then take that back down in there. Two, three. One, two, three. And then, like I said, you know, just take it over until you're almost done with it. Three. And back down in here. One. Oops. So we made a boo-boo, but we can fix that absolutely fix it two three and then back down in there I think like I said this is Friday one three I know I made a couple of mistakes on this but that's okay it'll be hidden one two three in there. One, two, three. Okay, well, you know what, guys? It's been long enough. I will finish this, and then I will come back with the finished product of the Tester Bunny. So I want all of you out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys with the finished Tester Bunny before I actually do the other one. And I'm hoping this comes out a lot cuter than Ugly Bunny. I don't know. I messed up on that eye. So, we'll see. Um, and, uh, yeah. I have that one Easter bunny to do. I did do the arm knit scarf. Then I have that jewelry to do. And, um, and then uh, I will actually be doing Remember that thing I asked you about? Would you like to see me uh, crochet a dragon? <gasps> oh, dang. I will be doing that. Yay. <laughs> Look forward to it. All right. Bye.